it's an automatic, which is one good thing. Lonnie Fry is mastering the art of handling a big rig. When I first got introduced to the truck a couple of years ago, I didn't realize it. I thought it was a stick shift. This isn't your everyday diesel. I used to have a boat. It's like driving a big boat, but I feel like I had a little more control with this. The behemoth is hard to miss. But it'll stop pretty quick. The Purple Heart Truck is seeing the light of day once again. Because it had been garaged for two years. It didn't go anywhere. The Rolling War Memorial is dedicated to the men and women of all branches of the military who sacrificed plenty. It's hard to look at this and not get emotional. Uh, to this Vietnam veteran, the truck is more than just chrome and custom paint. It's a Band-Aid on four wheels. It's like soothing open wounds that, uh, that were placed on one soul 50 years ago. And you ought to see the eyes of the veterans when you ride it, the tears coming. Rockville's Herb Delbridge hatched the idea of the mobile salute eight years ago. The man who earned three Purple Hearts himself on the battlefield bought and restored an old fire engine built in 1983. Wow. Friends and fellow Vietnam veterans like John Clickner marveled as Herb's vision took shape. He had the foresight to uh, uh, envision what an old truck could be. <laughs> the Marines' pride and joy became a fixture at parades and patriotic events across Virginia. Going to the Oyster Festival, I'm going to Warsaw parades, Powhatan, uh, Sandstone. But last year, Herb's life and the truck grinded to a halt. Herb suffered a massive stroke. He will never be able to drive again. I think he knows that. Uh, he wants to deeply. When they learned of Herb's grave condition, members of the Marine Corps League, like Jim Rawls, you have to do it, rallied around their brother in need. When the call of help goes out, no matter what branch receives it, they, it will be answered. Operation Purple Heart Truck was born a couple of months ago. With the help of the military order of the Purple Heart, Herb's treasure is roaring back to life. We felt a need to, to assist him and to get the truck back on the road. As for Herb, the road ahead is long. I you don't want to talk anymore. I got you. <laughs> you don't want to talk anymore. But the 81-year-old veteran is slowly shifting into high gear. We take care of each other, don't we? Yep. He smiles, he laughs. Uh, he may not be able to drive anymore, but uh, he's, our, he's our guy, and he's the guy we love, and he's the guy we support. I know he is over the moon thankful for these Marines. Linda Delbridge says her husband's improving health is fueled by the generosity of his own band of brothers. I can tell he's going, his back stiffens a little now that he, he knows it's in good hands with these guys taking over. We're trying to get some new floorboards, people to donate some new uh, carpet in that for our floors. Operation Purple Heart Truck. It is a group that goes beyond saving an old fire engine. This mission, jumpstart and preserve the legacy of a hero. It was team effort. We got to do it. It will be done and it will be continued. Members of Purple Heart Truck will be putting plenty of miles on the vehicle in the coming months. They have 10 events planned this spring. The next one, April 30th in Midlothian, a benefit for the Fisher House.